Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Zero. Let's get right into the news. Whoa, all right, man. It's literally not a week in the 2K community unless the devs caused some drama by stirring shit up, man. And this week, they decided to put out a question to all my career players before they started a game. And the question goes, as follows. Do you want to see pushing again in a future NBA 2K game? And the majority of people voted yes on what planet? Oh man, everybody was pissed off. Why are we letting my career players decide the fate of these game modes? Now, I know these 2K devs can't be that damn stupid, right? They're not gonna institute pushing after all the backlash they got last time. LD2K responded to this tweet saying this. That's what y'all want? Watch the entire segment for context as to why it was added, how they addressed it, and how it definitely won't be back in that form. He dropped that little conceited gif. So you might be wondering, all right, what'd they post on 2K TV? I don't really watch that. I don't watch it neither. From time to time, I'll poke around because my guy LD2K is in there. It's about it. But this is what they said. Roll it. Will you guys ever add back pushing in future games? Wow, Just someone wants it. pushing. <laughs> Alex Kastner, my guy. Nah, 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 we're not done with you, all right? Alex, you're the kind of person that ruins video games. You want the game to be dumbed down, beaten to the floor, until it's no longer fun to play! Get your together, Alex. Cause you're the only guy I know so far that actually wants this back into the game. 50% of people said they want it back in the game. I haven't seen a single person say, y'all embarrassed? Are you embarrassed to say it publicly? Let me know right now if you can't win games without pushing. Okay, so for 2K19, we added the cages, and that was trampoline basketballs, as you probably know, and um, people were jumping off the trampolines and dunking all over each other, and it was a lot of fun, but there was zero defense. You couldn't block a shot, you couldn't stop anybody, and so we, we thought that pushing would be a great way just to like, hey, this is kind of a, a more arcadey mode, let people knock each other around. That's what you thought, Mike Wang? You thought that yourself? I don't think so, Mike Wang. I think that you're a senior developer and you're trying to take the blame because you don't want to deflect and say John did it. All right, Mike Wang, I know you're not that damn stupid. We know what you're capable of. You didn't think of this. Somebody down in your dev team thought of this shit, and we want to know his name. And then where we went with it was, you know, this is a mechanic that kind of makes sense, obviously to a lesser degree in the NBA, but it's, it kind of makes sense that you can, you know, just initiate some kind of physicality as a defender. And so it, we started to take all of our- Y'all see that? Kind of physicality. Who the f is that? Who's this guy? And why is he pushing Kawhi Leonard? One of the greatest defenders in the NBA. Who the f <laughs> Let me chill out. <laughs> our off ball rides and our off ball contact and our chucks into this new system. And it became something that kind of worked in some ways. And it was another big exploit fix that we wanted too, is that people were camping in the paint, if you remember this. They were just standing in the paint in the take charge and they were dumping down on these guys, these bigs, and getting dunks over and over again. And so we really wanted a mechanic to let the defense say, hey, you know, I gotta get you out of the paint, especially in the park, just knock them out. Mike, what was that word you used there? You said you wanna knock folks out? Listen, Mike, everybody in the 2K community would be ecstatic if you added a an uppercut to the game next year. I know you guys think I'm playing because I've been joking around a lot in this episode. I'm, you won't believe how serious I am. You can make it a flagrant too if you want to, but from time to time, I would love to uppercut somebody. And if you could just add a little bit of blood, like on their jaw, like right there, like because they got beautiful. So if you want to knock out folks, it's not pushing. We need to start adding some hands, my guy. We were able to take this mechanic and start to abuse it in other ways and start to knock defenders around. And so it just it just broke down, and it, so I think it's one thing that it's completely gone um, in our in our game now for 2K20. I don't see it coming back in the same form, uh, especially not as a, a button that you press to push someone around. But um, the physicality on defense is a big part of the game, and we're gonna continue to, to evolve that and figure out the best way to implement that. All right, Ronnie. Listen, I I gave you the alternative. I'm saying you could keep that stuff in the game. People don't hate pushing. They hate that pushing gives people an advantage, right? Nobody should be able to push and then win games because of it, but that's what was happening. I just say you could keep pushing in the game if you make it a foul 100% of the time. That way, if someone's messing with me and we're up in the game, I could play around and just glock them like that. You know what I mean? But it would be a foul, so there'd be no advantage for me. I'm just saying from time to time, you're right. We could use some more physicality. Hey, uh, shout out to Mike Wang. 
Mike, I still want to know the name of the dev who thought of that idea. I know it wasn't you. You're just taking blame because that's what you have to do. It's like when Waleed messes up editing and I have to be in the comments like, yeah, my fault, y'all. I messed up on this part here. Let me know if you found it. <laughs> it was that's Waleed in the back. He, I won't tell nobody though. I, I would never tell nobody. <laughs> this is a weird episode so far. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Smoove is in the news. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Chris Smoove is untouchable. I could literally joke around insulting Chris Smoove and I'll have f***ing hounds of people just angry at me. So he's like the untouchable guy in the 2K community and we understand why. It's because he kind of founded the whole community. You got to allow respect to the guy. But he was on Twitter wilding the other day and yo, for the first time in a while, I saw, a draw, I saw him draw a little bit of blood. People were pissed off because he was just talking nonsense. Uh, he, he was talking about the, the, you know how Harden was being fouled by Golden State at the three-point line? Chris Move was arguing that Harden flops on all of his three-point attempts. And the points he made in his argument had, had some people frustrated. Harden sometimes jumps forward when he shoots. If he jumps forward, it shouldn't be a foul. That's pretty sensible. I think Harden does do that from time to time. Watch James Harden shoot threes in the three-point contest. Notice how he never throws his feet way in front like he does in games flopping for foul calls. In this tweet here, because nobody really liked the argument because they're saying, yo, this is a three-point shootout, I mean everybody was angry at him. And they were like, bro, are you comparing someone shooting spot-up threes in a three-point contest with no defender to someone shooting a contested jump shot in the game? Some of the stuff you're saying is real suspect, my dude. Now, this has nothing to do with 2K. I just thought it was fascinating that I've never seen him get criticized for anything. I've been in the community for a long ass time now. I don't know, I'm, I'm smiling, but it's not really funny. It's more like, it's just, it's interesting to me. Cause if I do something really messed up, you guys can let me know off rip in the comment section. And that goes for every YouTuber in every community. But there's some untouchable people and you feel like he was touched this time. Uh, besides the point. I do agree with you, Chris Move. Harden does flop on a lot of his calls. But some of that stuff Klay Thompson was doing, especially in game one, that was a foul. <laughs> Damn, bro. They hit him with the rare L's today. Ah, Chris Move caught his first L. <laughs> For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a little quickie story. Duke put out this tweet saying, I started NBA 2K19 with 160K. Now I'm at, damn, he's been going a lot. Shout out to Duke, my guy. Cole the Man responded to that tweet saying, Davis started 2K19 as a virgin. Look where he's at now, but still a virgin. And Duke responded to that tweet saying, he's gonna lose it this summer. It's on my bucket list. Duke, what are you talking about, man? You know how that sounds, my guy? <laughs> and, and, and everybody let him know. <laughs> LSK dropped this gift. <laughs> Davis dropped a whole lot of question marks. Duke replied to that saying, now all y'all know I wasn't not talking about me taking it from him, WTF. G-Man responded saying, streets is done. Hank called pause. Cole said, sus Duke. I responded saying, wait, what? Um, Duke, my guy, you gotta like use your words a little differently, man. It comes across a specific type of way. I I'm gonna let you handle that. That story, I don't even know how it made it in this episode. It was just funny as hell. For our... Hey man, NBA 2K20 might be around the corner because the 2K devs are tweeting about it. There was a post. Look at, look at the post, roll it. You trying to get dunked on for hashtag science? There was a whole bunch of mocap dunks. Some contact dunk animations. And they look really, really clean. It's kind of cool to see the behind the scenes. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Slashers are trash in 19. These contacts rarely trigger, and if they do, they miss them. Listen, slashers are one of the, especially pure slashers, one of the best builds, especially on Pro-Am, but also on the park. If you're a slasher and you're out there shooting bricks and playing like a garbage man, then don't blame the game. That's a solid build. A man will just play horrible and then blame his build for a thing like he's not the problem. Give me a pure slasher, bro. See what I can do. Anyway, there was some more mocap. This time they were showing a, a game intro, a squad intro to be specific. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the f they're spending their time on down at the 2K headquarters. For our next story of the day, man. All right, okay, we got some 2K20 in us. A little bit of information and news. It's kind of starting to trickle in, but this has nothing to do with that. This is some drama between a couple YouTubers in the 2K community. It goes as follows. T-Jack pulled up to Power on stream and Power left the game. He didn't want to play it. 
Now, t Jack decided to post that video of Power running from him, captioned this. I never pull up on anyone, and you really this scared to play? LMAO! I can't. So let's watch that video real quick. Like, honestly? Yeah. Not even risk a three? Yeah, I think it'll be easier. Cause like, we won't even give yeah, the ball up. I think up. it'll be easier. They hopped off! They hopped off, bro. Yo! How about they hopped off, bro? Come on, man. So T Jack is firing some shots. He's saying, Power, why are you running, my guy? You're always the one pulling up on other people, saying, Let's play some games. Here's a game right here, and you ran away. Swante responded to that saying, Damn. Cole the Man responded to that saying, Farmers are dangerous. <laughs> I guess he's referring to T Jack. Badge Pug responded to that saying, You're surprised, LMAO? And of course, Power had something to say. I stream almost every single day this year. You never once pulled up, but when I'm playing with my friend, who made his player yesterday on an 87 overall, you try and clout chase on making an exposed video. You're sad as and irrelevant. I'm irrelevant, LMAO, question mark? I can't even take this serious when you've been hiding behind a computer screen for four plus years doing YouTube. I never played with Zid until today and my stream wanted me to pull up. You're full of excuses, dog. Laughing emoji, skull emoji. Easy Breezy jumped into the mix. He dropped a gif, or I guess a meme saying, huh, this is odd. The map said I wouldn't encounter a dumb... Okay. All right. <laughs> T-Jack responded saying, Breezy, don't even get in this little kid. You made a setup video and still was too insecure to show yours. LMAO, I'm dying. Breezy responded saying, this ain't about no face reveal, goofball. What is it with everyone in TMB and trying to see our faces? Just STFU. <laughs> that kind of comes off as a weird sentence, man. I don't know, it just feels odd to say out loud. What is it with you and trying to see my face? Cut it out! LMAO, I thought I was irrelevant. Why are you taking me this serious? Good night, Twitter. Love y'all. And, and T-Jack dropped a screenshot of power blocking him. Nate and T-Jack are both blocked. There will be no game. There will be no attention. They should go back to streaming on Mixer now. Just wasting their time. Shots fired. Now I'm gonna keep it a bean. I had to block Nade. He was out there just left and right spoiling movies. I don't know what's gone into him. This, he has, what? He has some balls on him to try some shit like that on my damn timeline. But I have to unblock him because he gets in so much drama. I gotta get the screenshot somehow, man. <laughs> yeah, the drama was getting mad personal. There's like entire threads of different people from those clans just kind of going at it and show me your face, let's play a game, you're scared. Mm, you know how it usually goes. Now I feel bad for grinding because every time I do one of these drama alerts, because he's in Power's clan, he often gets dragged into all the drama and it happened again. Well, not really, I'm kind of just forcing it this time, but you'll see why. Somebody added grinding and he's like, you really should depart from Power Clan because it's a really bad look on you and how you fuck with him so much and you would gain so much respect, especially from the PS4 community. Jesus. All right, uh, since I've been playing more on PC over the last couple years, there's nothing that's more annoying to me than seeing like the PS4 fanboys and the Xbox fanboys fight. You're both playing on consoles. It's basically the same damn thing. Stop pretending like you guys are playing in different universes. It's the same shit, all right guys? Get over it. Grinding responded to that saying, imagine me being a sheep. If you don't wanna F with me, cause who I choose to hang around, then you never really F with me to start with at all, whatsoever, ever, anytime. P.S. Beamstar, I stayed out of this one, so go away. Well, I'm sorry, Grinding, you had to make your way into the 2K drama alert today, ladies and gentlemen. Annoying had the crown for a while. I think Nadex took the crown, and hey, power is really close, but you're coming along with him, my guy. Listen, man, all you gotta do is avoid drama, and each week, power is back in the drama, and that means you're back in the drama, hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah, no grinding. You're a different guy. We know, we know, we know my. Anyway, Power was in more drama because he put out this tweet saying, This is some of the saddest shit I've seen in my life. Please put this in your video, lol agent. I stream every day, but when I'm playing with my 87 overall friend, he asks who I'm playing with and says, Oh yeah. Then says we're pulling up. Then I step off and he rushes to tweet it. It's getting juicy. Who's he playing with? Who's he playing with? Oh yeah, Don't matter. Come on, we're going. Damn, ladies and gentlemen, the evidence looks damning. T Jack, man, come on, my guy. You can't drop a tweet trying to clown power for running, but the only reason you played him is because you knew who his teammate was. Shh. Listen, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's where the drama ended, but nope, it wasn't. <laughs> 
I don't know why people call Nate toxic. Do you guys realize it's for entertainment? If you chose in a party with him and got to know him, he's a cool ass dude, good ass leader also. Power of Quote tweeted that and said, because he's the definition of toxic. Normal people who just entertain don't get banned on almost every platform. And let me tell you, I've been in parties with Nate, I've been in clans with Nate, and he pulled my IP and tried to leak it on Twitter. Nothing chill about him. I ain't know that. All right, it's some new information to me. Nadex is a perfect example of how easily this community will lie for clout. You don't have to be racist to be entertaining. You don't have to be mean to be entertaining. And trying to be entertaining was never a valid excuse. Hey, but anybody with a brain already knew that. Yo, <laughs> oh, I feel bad for Nate, because Nate had nothing to do with what was going on. Nate and grinding kind of just get dragged into drama from time to time. <laughs> Uh, but hey man, some shots was fired and here I am covering it. For our next story of the day, man, these YouTubers, it's like it's always a fight, man. And it's like I know some of them try and stay out of it, but it, it just it just happens that way. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Let's get into this damn story. Tysino dropped a tweet saying on May 25th, Zirinik and I will be vacationing in the East Coast USA for a while. When there, we will challenge every top East Coast 2K YouTuber to a 2v2 on 2K19. Best of three. The hype will be crazy for this one. Nobody is scared. Time for something. I failed school. I dropped out. I didn't fail. I was doing fantastic. But I did drop out. <laughs> Not to be confused with Davis who dropped out of high school. Different. Anyway, you might think to yourself, how could drama possibly come from this situation? Oh, there's always a way. Exit, if you guys remember, Exit was actually in the video when I was teaming up with Steezo to troll my Krizemba. Nobody gives a flying fuck about Tysino's trash ass playing somebody. Who this dude think he is? Skull emoji. Badge plug responded to that saying, whoa, relax, dude. G-Man responded saying, you tripping. Even Colder Man responded saying, chill, Tysino's one of the most genuine content creators in the community. And basically the whole replies was like, bro, are you straight? You all right, my guy? Power quote tweeted Exit's tweet saying, on me, Steezo and this Exit dude are some of the weirdest, most toxic people in this community. Now, Grinding has said in the past that he hates when people pull him into drama, even though he had nothing to do with it, just because he's associated with somebody that has something to do with the drama. And here we have Power doing the same thing. And Steezo wasn't clearly messing with it. So Steezo responded saying this. AIDS, if y'all see someone talk shit about me, please defend me. Because if I respond, which it always is a response, they will say I'm toxic. I know we get caught up in the YouTube persona, 2K jokes, but I really be minding my business and show mutual love and respect to all. He followed up saying, oh my God, Steezo is so toxic. Dumb, silly, stupid MFs. Ha 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 ha. Huh. Ever since I've been doing this 2K drama stuff, I've been noticing it more and more where people will start drama or try and bring people into drama just so like they can be on this an episode. That's not how it works. If I get a if I get a sense that you're just in this so I could cover it, then I'm not covering it. Period. And in almost every situation, I've gotten plenty of tweets in the past where people are like, bro, the way you covered the story made it seem like this and this. But it's like, I'm just covering the story. Remember when I say something in a tweet or if someone alleges something, it doesn't mean it's true. It just means that that's what someone said. There's no way we get serious facts. Like for example, in the tweet where Power accused Nade of pulling his IPs in the past from being in his parties, there's no way anyone can know if that's true aside from Power and Nade. I just reported it. I don't know if it's true or not. Power could be lying or telling the truth. Just keep it in mind when I'm doing these stories because there are gonna be allegations thrown back and forth, but it doesn't always mean they're true or they're false. For our next story of the day. All right, man, so it's, it's like four months away from 2K20 and honestly, I didn't expect to hear any news or anything about it just yet. But earlier in this episode, we talked about how they was dropping mocap sessions. They don't usually do that until a couple months later. And we have Zach Timmerman, one of the more popular developers for NBA 2K, tweeting this. The calm before the storm, hashtag NBA 2K20, hashtag crunch time. If you guys missed my last video, I'm gonna leave a card above and a link in the description. I talked a lot about developers being overworked and blamed for a lot of the problems that's caused by executives. Yo, it was an amazing video. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, I'll leave a link. But listen, when he says crunch time, if you guys watch the video, you know what that means. That's 70, 80 hours work weeks coming up. But it seems like they might get started promoting NBA 2K20 sometime soon, so I'm gonna be on that. Someone even sent me this screenshot saying 2K20, and it was like a progression bar or something like that. I'm pretty sure this is like, I remember seeing a concept design from I think Glizzy. This is not actually 2K20. You're not gonna finesse me. Come on, man, I'm Agent Zero.
not Beamstar today. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this was a concept design I seen from Glizzy. It could have been another designer, but it's not actually NBA 2K20. I'm pretty in the know when it comes to this kind of stuff and don't tell nobody, but from time to time, I do hear leaks months ahead of time. And so yeah, they're not even remotely close to, trust me, these leaks come like a month before launch at best two months. Actually, if you just read the bottom, it says shows how 2K should do the rep system. So yeah, it's definitely a fan design. Jeez, you're not gonna finesse me, are you crazy? Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news. If you enjoyed and you wanna see another one, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Hey, watch that video I was talking about with the 2K devs, etc., etc. Boom, right there, all right? If you don't wanna watch that, there's three more videos on the screen. Hit one of them bitches, or subscribe to the channel, or buy the merch, or just go outside. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day.